all right guys back with one more leonardo ai video so in today's video i'm going to mainly focus on in painting how you can in paint anything in ai canvas let's go to the ai canvas before we start the video if you haven't seen my other videos regarding leonardo.ai and all the basics that i've covered in those videos then go in the description down below and i've given the link to all the videos there I've already selected an image which is lying in my computer. So I'm going to go to this section right here and click on import from computer. And this is the image that I have selected. Now the same drill has to be followed. We are first going to decrease the size of the image so that it can fit in the bounding box. Now the target is to make this house look a bit new, add some exteriors, add some gar garage and one two more things that make this house look complete. As you can see this part of the house looks very old so we need to change this part of the house. So I'm going to click on erase and then mask out this part of the image in order to replace it. Let's mask out this much part first and then bring the bounding box on top and as you can see the prompt that I used was add similar bricks and wood. Uh, you can add something like add new bricks and wood instead of similar uh, but I'm going to use something else to make it look a bit better. So I'm going to select this one as it looks like it is equal to the other side. I'm going to click on accept. Now the next thing that I did was mask out this part as it was looking really ugly and then I wrote window antique wood house and then I'm going to click on generate. And as you can see there are three results because I clicked on three and these are the options that I can select from. If you don't like these options let's increase the guidance scale and now I have added good quality teak wood house and then I'm going to click on cancel and then generate again. And as you can see this is the first option and these are the other options. I think the first option looks pretty nice. I'm going to go with the first option and click on accept. Now I also want to add a garage on this part of the house on this side of the house. So I'm going to shift the whole image and I'm going to go and erase this part of the image so that it has some space to add a new structure. And then just bring the bounding box on top right here. And then this is the prompt that I used. Now I'm going to click on generate. And as you can see these are the three options. The first one looks really blended in but I didn't want the car. You can also select this one. And then we can change this later on by masking out this part and just telling it to write and add similar. But I think I'm going to go with this one as it looks uh, a bit similar to the house. So I'm going to click on accept. This is the image that I'm currently working on as the previous image got deleted somehow because my net got disconnected and the next step now is to rectify this wooden pan these wooden panels. Now let's try and erase the whole panel that is visible right now. I have erased all these wooden panels and now I'm going to write a prompt and see what the system comes up with. So as you can see right here, I created a mask on the whole thing and then I wrote expensive wooden panels, doors and windows and these are the generation that it came up with. This is the first one, this is the second one and this is the third one. Let's, uh, I think this one is suiting the most or maybe this one. I'm going to go with this one as this is suiting the most. I'm going to click on accept and then fill in this area as well. After filling in this leftover area, 
I drew a mask on this part of the house because the rooftop was not looking that good. And then I wrote new red rooftop panels. And these are the uh, generations that I came up with. I'm liking this one, so I'm going to click on accept. I also wanted to generate some more of the lawn that is already present. So I started, I wrote add and then I brought the bounding box on this area. And then I'm going to click on accept and do the same thing for the whole area. As you can see, the lawn is completed. And if you want to see the side by side image, the comparison image, let's bring in that image, uh, the initial image, which I started editing of the abandoned old house. Let's decrease the size of the image and place them side by side in order to compare them. So this is the side by side comparison of both the images. And this is just a small example of what you can achieve using the canvas editor without even knowing some advanced editing. This is the abandoned house and this is a new house. I mean, it looks pretty new. It looks like someone is living in the house. So this was it for the video. If you have any special requests or any doubts about any topic in the canvas editor or in Leonardo.ai or anything in general in the AI space, you can always write a comment down below and I'm definitely going to cover that particular topic, clearing your doubts. Once again, all the links to all the other videos are given in the description. So you can check all the videos out from right there. And I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.